try go 100 miles an hour from day one. Uh, remember earlier I said there are multiple ways that the tool can be used uh, and you get confused if you try to do them all. Well, I, I meant it. So instead ramp up and introduce the next feature when you've got confidence in the one prior. So start, just do a roadmap for the next three months. Put your team's work in there and look, and does it look right? Does it look, target start and end dates look okay? Look at the information warnings. Do you have things that aren't making sense? Do you have target end dates that are in the past, but the issue's still open? Once you've got that right, great. Introduce dependencies. Add your dependencies in there. What issues are blocking what other issues? Are any of those dependencies red? Filter your plan by red dependencies and make sure you have a conversation with the, with the person who's doing the work that blocks the other one and the blocky, blocker. Um, make sure there's no red dependencies there. Then releases, introduce releases. Are they red? Are they overbooked? Do we need to de-scope or maybe change the order of the scope or change the people that we've got working on it? Make sure there's no releases in red. Then if you've got the data quality and you've got your ducks in a row and you know that you've got some confidence looking at the data, uh, the roadmap as it is, we can introduce the auto scheduler. How different is what it predicts from what we wanted as our target plan? Is it a couple of days here and there? Is it nine months, um, which I quite often see? Um, and again, use that as a tool to educate you. If it's nine months, well, why is it nine months? So it, something's making it that way. Are the estimates wrong? Are there dependencies in there that aren't real? Uh, the velocity of our team is maybe that set incorrectly. So uh, you want to have a look and understand why the data is saying that because if the if advanced roadmaps is telling you that your uh, work's going to take a much longer than you thought, if it's way off what your target plan is, it's getting that data from the team's boards. That means that the team are potentially working on things either in the wrong order or maybe the wrong things um, and they don't realize it. So it's really important to make sure that you understand why your auto scheduling is so different from your target plan um, if it is different. And lastly, the what if scenario planning. This is fantastic. This is when you've got this mature use case and you've got a new piece of work comes in and we create this new initiative in, uh, in advanced roadmaps and it tells us when we can likely start and finish it based on all the other work we've got on. And then we can start that um, horse trading and say, well, I need it earlier than that. So that's fine. We can move it up the initiative's backlog. But the impact is something else is going to have to move out. Or maybe we start to add more teams in and you know, have these conversations. So that is how I would uh, urge you to start um, to, and how quickly you progress up through one through five will be entirely different. Some people could do this in a few weeks. Some people will never get to five and that's okay. There's value at number one. That visualization part is still really, really useful.